So we're here near Point Doom right behind me. Um, this is West, uh, West Beach Access Road right at uh, basically at sunset at the, the cafe here. Um, at the end of this part of Zuma, this continuation of, of Westward Beach uh, to the west of uh, Zuma. And what we have here is a growing example of the kind of challenges that we're having uh, from now on into the future getting worse each decade. So this is an issue. This, this current county road, this, this, pu this public road um, is no longer accessible as of six days ago. Um, sea level rise changed sediment inputs to the coast because of our choices of coastal development, etc. cetera, uh, and high tides combined to have um, uh, really high tides, really high washover, undercutting of the roadbed, and now the um, taking down of this road. So right now this access is blocked. So if we walk down a little bit farther over here, what you're gonna see is uh, now coastal access, right, which is guaranteed to all of us in the Coastal Act, um, not at this point, not on this beach. So this chunk of the sandy beach is um, uh, blocked off for safety reasons. Um, uh, now, th th this, this failure happened, this, this loss facilitated by sea level rise, etc., happened six days ago. So they've put a lot of riprap on since to try to do some temporary revetments and temporarily uh, stabilize the roadbed, but this structure is no longer working. And as we go down here, what we can see is all of uh, the efforts that have been going to try to at least make a, a temporary road here. So at least lifeguards, et cetera, can get out there, maybe on a, so some gravel or aggregate, something like that, so we can get down to, to get people help if we need help, et cetera. But this example of problems with infrastructure, narrowing of beaches, et cetera, is increasingly common. We're seeing this in Pacifica, up north, we're seeing this down south in San Diego County, Orange County, LA County, all over the place. So this is not just a one particular area or a one particular setting scenario. Indeed, we're losing beaches and sandy beaches um, across the globe. Uh, the, our current prediction uh, with some modeling efforts is that we're gonna see vastly reduced extents of our iconic Southern California sandy beaches by 2100. How we respond is a classic management challenge, a classic coastal management challenge. Um, the, the challenges are complex. The drivers are actually not as complex as we might think. Um, we pretty much know what's going on. Um, will we have the wherewithal to, um, to you know, make the right decisions? Difficult choices are to be had. Do we wanna preserve public access? Do we wanna preserve ecological functioning? Or do we simply want to protect, um, you know, some high-end uh, 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 property, some some expensive uh, properties? Um, and to do that, there's costs associated with all of this. And so, how we decide this um, is really key. The processes that will apply so that we make sure this is fair and equitable is huge. And the fact that we will be preserving these resources on into the future and do it in a sustainable way is also a huge part of the mix that we're trying to um, uh, come up with a response to, come up with a plan to. Um, the plans are relatively simple, but getting the public buy-in, getting the elected representatives, getting the, the real decision makers to um, come to a consistent decision, that's the challenge. Uh, whether it's sea level rise or any of the other challenges we have with regards to um, our coastal zone management here in Southern California and around the world.